Hum, I think I need to restore my weekly KDE news series based on Nate's blog, because lately cool things are happening. And because I know everyone hates long intros. Are you gonna skip it? No, I'm gonna wrap it. Oh my god. I tie my shoes I put my hood in coming for you man. It's KKK son, the KDE cool clan. Try to resist me, and I bomb you with C++. I sent 50 verified patches to Hezbollah. Okay Coco, but now is the time to relax, and perhaps start this motherfucking video up? So, this week we have two major improvements. First is the kickoff menu redesign, that according to bug reports it closes two thirds of the current bugs. And the second and most important change is the rewrite of the K1 compositor scheduler. And I'm gonna start with the kickoff menu that I had an extensive video a few months ago, so the main change since then is that is a master for Plasma 5.21 release. So in quick, we have a grid on favorites that we can rearrange. Applications are sorted in alphabetical order. On bottom we have the places panel, and next is the logout menus. In general is an improvement over the old menu, but not really something new from design point of view and I still don't like they use categories instead of app folders. But of course all the focus goes to the work on the compositor, that I'm telling you in advance I can't review so low level code. But in short it fixes two issues. First the compositing will be faster in everything you see in your screen, and that has to do with changing the scheduler algorithm and eventually reducing the latency. That change should affect both X server and Wayland compositors. However on Wayland we have more things, so on Wayland compositing happens in different threads. That makes possible to have two screens working in different refresh rates, for example one in 60kHz and one at 144. That's basically the same with GNOME Wayland session. Additionally, we have some new options on the compositor panel. And the most important is that we can set the latency to faster or smoother. So moving a window with low latency settings will move it slightly faster, than if we enable the smooth algorithm. In video you won't really notice that, but it slightly happens. Actually I think it happens more with the opening windows animations, but really I can't tell much because Plasma still suffers performance issues with NVIDIA drivers. By the way, another thing that makes Plasma to feel more laggy than really is, are those slow animations when we open those menus. And from one side KDE developers can't optimize animations good enough, and from the other side they're giving users options to adjust the animations, which makes everything much more tricky to fix.